Good morning. Here is today's word of blessings for you. Luke 2 1 7. In those days Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. And everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no guest room available for them. Today's title is Caesar Augustus and Baby Jesus. Do you have any interest in history? You should. Christians believe in historic Jesus and historic gospel. Luke the gospel writer was a doctor. But he was an excellent historian too. He said that he wrote all his gospel based on historical facts. Luke states this clearly at the beginning of his gospel. Luke says that he made sure that his gospel is historically accurate. I believe that God is a great historian too. I am saying that because I feel there is a great historical coincidence in almost every significant event of redemptive history. Certainly the birth of Jesus was so. Today's passage shows that Jesus was born in the days of Caesar Augustus. If you are a student of history, you will know who Caesar Augustus is. He is the first and greatest emperor of Rome. Roman emperor worship basically started from his reign. Under the reign of the great emperor, baby Jesus was born in a manger wrapped in cloth. What a contrast. I almost feel the historic irony in this. I feel that Luke the historian is also feeling the irony. Don't you? Caesar Augustus ruled the world with absolute earthly power. Baby Jesus seems absolutely powerless. But the historical contrast of Caesar and baby Jesus is begging us a question. Who is the real ruler of the world? Caesar or baby Jesus? Luke's task was to answer this question through a careful study of history. It must have been an exciting journey. I am sure you already know Luke's conclusion. Baby Jesus, not Caesar Augustus is the real ruler of the world. The census in heaven by Jesus, not the census by Caesar Augustus really matters to us all. Do you know the real king and worship him?